I think we've all seen this state of Unreal presentation from Lord of the Falling, where they start using these emissive little lights to help art direct the lighting of the scene without, you know, the addition of expensive additional lights, just using straight up lumen emissive properties. So how can we achieve this? How can we do what they're doing here? Is it even possible in vanilla Unreal? And the answer is a resounding yes. Yes, you can. Let's get into how you can do this, shall we? Let's start off by making a simple emissive material. I just added a little constant, multiply by a 10, and slapped into the emissive color, and bam, you have an emissive color, good to go. Uh, you can add additional properties in here, like different parameters and dynamic parameters and stuff like that, but we're not going to get into that here, we're going to just do the basics. Next up, let's create an actor, a reusable actor that we can use to just sort of place in the level as our various emissive structures. Once we're inside of our little actor, let's go ahead and just quickly add a static mesh component. And luckily, we can straight away just add a sphere. Let's make that the default scene component, and bam, we're done with adding that. Then all we need to do is go over here to the materials and change that to be our emissive material. Now in here, we need to change some properties, right? We're gonna say, okay, well, we don't want this to show up in game, so let's say hidden. And we're gonna say we want to be hidden in game. But also, because this is now a lighting source, we want to allow indirect lighting while hidden. Once that's done, let's compile and save, close out of here, and let's immediately drag into the scene. And we can already see we are getting some lighting going. But if we play the game, there's an issue, right? Hold on, where's the light? Oh, it only appears when they get a little bit closer and it goes away. Simple little fix for this. We go in here, we search for emissive on the sphere itself, and you can see emissive light source. Make sure you tick that box. Now we're getting the full thing going. If we play the game again, here's our little light source. Now from here, you can go ahead and just decorate your scene, change up where the lights are placed, use it in addition to your other lighting sources and global illumination sources. And yeah, there we go. This is how you can sort of art direct your scene in a more optimal manner than using a bunch of you know normal static lights, area lights, whatever you want to use traditionally. It could be very useful to add to your arsenal of art direction tools and to make sure your scene's as optimal as possible. And remember, you can always extend this to use parameters, set it up in the blueprint itself, and create per instance changes.